Wenatchee High School was originally constructed in 1972. It was built for a crowd of about 1,600. In recent years, enrollment has reached more than 2,000. Students spend more than 700 days of their lives attending Wenatchee High School. We talked to a couple of the school's student leaders to hear their thoughts. I think that as far as a new school would go, that, well, it's been talked about for a long time by everyone and that how we need a remodel or um, just things brought up by not only students but staff and friends. But I think that it would be definitely a great addition to the community since it's been here for a long time and not necessarily getting rid of this one but an addition would probably be ideal considering the number of students that's gone up increasingly over the years. As far as traveling to other schools I've been to um, anywhere from schools like Chelan or schools like Eisenhower's new school which Eisenhower's new school definitely looks like a college campus with the structure and size, but as far as our school goes, it it looks really big for on the outside, as, and it is, it stretches a mile, but most of it, what people don't know is that it's almost all hallway space and not classroom space, um, and the hallways still get packed, and yeah, but as far as um, comparing to other schools, it's it definitely looks big still, but it's the inside is worn down kind of, or you can tell that it's aged a bit. Well, obviously you hear a lot of things about it and kind of like, because I've had three other siblings that came through here, so I heard a lot about how crowded the halls were and everything and no windows and stuff like that. Because like at all the middle schools, or at least the middle school I went to, there's always like a bunch of windows and everything like that. And so once you come back and you come here and you see it, you're like, it's kind of like a prison. <laughs> In my freshman year, I had classes, and none of the classes had a window, and so I didn't really notice it. And then the second semester of my freshman year, I had a scheduled class, my first class that I had a window, and I didn't realize what I was missing out on. And so it's a small thing, but it's definitely really, once you know what you're missing, it, it's really awful to know, think that you're kind of not trapped, but are trapped inside a small classroom for seven hours. It's probably some classes you could have that are a hundred yards away from each other or others you could have probably a half a mile away from each other and it's you could seriously spend all the whole six minute passing time getting to a class that's just right down the hall or a few doors down the hall because of how how many kids are in there and it it really looks like a stampede when it's coming. When you see the light come on, it starts out with a few that got out early, and then it just fills up. I think the biggest impact is that once people kind of zone out or get bored in class, and they're not able to like look out of a window or something, they can't really do anything, so they just turn and start talking to people because they can't really daydream out and look anywhere, stuff like that. The classes are very small, uh, especially with the numbers that actually fill up the classroom, which is around 30. But it, it is noticeable when you walk in the classroom if you've been to other schools, but I feel like students here don't, it's not that big of a deal if, it's, if it, you've just been here for a while, you get used to it. I think that they're probably just, they're probably just getting used to it um, with a combination of not knowing what, what would be an issue or what could be an issue. We appreciate those students sharing their insight. And when we return on the NCW Life magazine, we go inside one of Wenatchee High School's classrooms. Stay tuned. 